Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3. It's been established at this point that I don't like Mitsuru, and we're gonna go out on the town. Because I can't stand it in here any longer. Also because reasons. Reasons as in, I have things to do and places to go, like the mall. Because, I don't know, it's Saturday. Really, it's Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. And on Saturday, we can do a Savage game. Quiz game. Academic Soak. I don't think I'm tired yet. So I should be able to study. Yeah! All that learning. No school! We get to go outside and do whatever we want to all day long! Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously there's something on your mind. <laughs> He's sharp. He's sharp. I do reminisce sometimes. But what's the point? Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? It is good, it is important to have a reason. You can get too caught up in the doing and forget the why. That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. I don't think he was trying to. I think he's just being Akiko. Yes? That is an adorable room. Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. And that is an adorable dress. Fuka, you are adorable. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, so she figured that one out. Oh, I, 
I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? You know what, if you can do that, more power to you. That's illegal. So is a lot of things. I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. So it's not really hacking, it's more... looking around. I want to know the truth. In detail. I think that's something we could all use knowing. Really? Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. This isn't like a personal task, God dang it. This is like important to all of us. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Fuka, you're alright. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly you must be a little angry with me. Not really. But I am! Fuka, you are a saint. You see, my parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um... Had a weird tone with that one there, Mitsuru. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay, I promise I'll stop being really angry at Mitsuru, but that doesn't mean I have to like her. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously, but at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. Okay, you A, don't understand college, and B, why are you wearing those? It's Sunday. <laughs> That's if you get accepted, don't forget. You guys do not understand college. College is like high school, but worse. Like, they actually expect you to try. You can generally get through high school just BSing your way through. If you think college is partying and having fun, you are in for a rude awakening. <laughs> I know why. The benefits to college, on the other hand, is that you are, instead of having a bunch of information you generally don't care about forced down your throat, you're instead having information that you may possibly care about forced down your throat. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, 
be worthless. <laughs> My duty. What a bunch of bullshit. I can't fight worth shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it. Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Not everybody is good at everything. That much is obvious, but it's also important to note that not everybody is good at something. A lot of people will try their darndest to find that one thing that they're really good at, that one niche that they fit into, that they can excel at and do better than everybody else, and sadly, that niche doesn't exist for everybody. I'm actually falling into that myself for a fair bit, but really about all you can do is accept that and do what you can do. You will have an important role if only that that important role is supplementing the fact that there are other roles out there better than yours. After all, the world would feel very empty if there were only the people at the top. Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Heck yeah, you got friggin' Minato. He doesn't disrespect nobody. This old letter of yours. Oh yeah, you don't actually have a social link with Minato yet, though. Best be getting on that, then. We must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow, I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and... I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful like you are now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever. Y'all got problems. Y'all got problems. And I think I will actually add that I think they do a pretty good job of actually... ...capturing the emotional state of people their age. So we're gonna play a video game. How's that for mood whiplash? Everybody's having problems, all this crap's going on. I'm just gonna play a video game all day. Geez, not even gonna say hi.
Oh, there's a difference between being cute and being hot. Now, the correct response to this one is actually... Guys only go for younger chicks. You're an odd one. You're an odd one. Hey, as long as you keep it legal. That's not the same thing. Wait, a student asked her out. Sounds familiar. Now for this one, it, uh, let's see here, yeah, it does not actually matter what you say. You know too much. 